36-year-old Robert Barnes, was arrested on the 21st of October after allegedly murdering and dismembering his 72-year-old mother, Lucilla Barnes. At around 9pm on the 20th of October, deputies responded to a home located at 11,127 Cactus Point Court in Houston, Texas, after concerned relatives said they hadn't heard from her for a couple of days. Lucilla's sister had previously gone to the residence to check up on her. Lucilla's son, Robert, confronted her with an AK rifle. He told her he dropped her off at an airport and refused to let her inside the home and told her to go away. After deputies arrived on scene, Robert was uncooperative and brandished a firearm and refused to let them inside the home. Hours later, the authorities obtained a search warrant for the home and upon entering the premises, deputies discovered a large amount of blood inside but could not locate Lucilla. Robert told officers that he dropped Lucilla off at an airport but when asked which one, he couldn't answer. The deputies then searched the garage and came across a large homemade wooden crate. When they looked inside, they discovered Lucilla's dismembered remains. While questioned about the find, Robert allegedly admitted to shooting his mother before dismembering her body and concealing it in a wooden box. He explained that he built the crate a month before killing his mother. The motive of the attack is unclear. On the 21st of October, Robert was arrested and charged with Lucilla's murder and tampering with the corpse. In an accord appearance on the 22nd of October, his bond was set at $650,000. He's been held at the Harris County Jail. The authorities have found several Houston, Texas children living in an abandoned apartment alone while discovering the remains of another. The incident occurred on the 24th of October when officers were called to the third floor apartment located at 3535 Greencrest Drive to complete a welfare check. When officers arrived, they found three children aged 7, 10 and 15. They had been caring for themselves for an extended period of time. While completing the check, they also located skeletal remains of what they believed to be the sibling of the three kids inside the apartment. The investigators estimate that the remains have been there for weeks. The authorities are working to identify the children's parents and family members at this early stage of investigation. The condition of the surviving children is unclear. The children have been placed into the care of Child Protective Services. On the 21st of October, Colorado woman Carla Faith was sentenced to six years in prison for 26 counts of abuse of minors after running a childcare facility from a home in 2019 without a proper license. Carla lied to parents of children who attended the centre and looked after more children than she was supposed to. The daycare licence allowed her to care for up to six kids at any one time at a facility called the Play Mountain Place in Colorado Springs. Then someone submitted a tip to the Department of Human Services, saying they believed that Carla was caring for too many kids in a daycare centre. The police performed a welfare check on the 13th of November 2019 to make sure the kids were in a safe environment. During the investigation, the authorities found 26 children under the age of three in an area of her home, hidden by a false wall. When police initially responded to the address, Keller insisted no children were there and said her home didn't have a basement, but an officer heard children's music and a child's cry from the basement. Another officer discovered a false wall and moved it to reveal a basement staircase. Many of the children were found with soiled or wet diapers and were sweaty and thirsty. Many parents reported their children suffered trauma since being at the daycare centre, citing sleep and anxiety issues and are looking at taking civil action against the centre. A 58-year-old Florida man has been arrested for murder after allegedly shooting his neighbour to death over an argument about a cat. The incident occurred shortly before 10.30am on the 20th of October. Located at 15,980 Southeast 258th Avenue Road in New Matilla, Florida. Officers responded to the scene on reports of a shooting that left 41-year-old James Arlen Taylor Jr. dead in his front yard. The authorities said that Clifton Bliss Jr. became angry after James's cat entered his property. Clifton armed himself with a 22 caliber rifle and marched uninvited onto James's property and knocked on the front door of his home. James went outside when Clifton confronted him about the wandering cat. James searched for the cat, and Clifton followed him when he threatened to shoot the cat. James asked him not to do that, and ordered Clifton to leave his property. 
A verbal altercation ensued, and Clifton shot James at least once in the chest. He then left, but later returned before deputies arrived. Two witnesses who were driving past saw James in pain and stopped their vehicle. They rolled their windows down and asked if he was okay, which he replied, No, I'm dying. Clifton told nearby witnesses and his wife that James assaulted him before fatally shooting him. A witness said she did not see any physical violence before the incident. Neighbours say Clifton has a reputation of being a troublemaker and a hothead, where he's often been seen carrying a gun around and arguing with them over cats and dogs. Investigators say Clifton's claim about being assaulted appears to be unfounded. The authorities arrested Clifton that same day, and he's been charged with murder. He's been held without bail at the Marin County Jail. On the 20th of October 2021, 46-year-old Texas man Jay Hammersley was sentenced to 40 years in prison for strangling his 29-year-old wife, Mara Vestal, to death in 2019 before burning her body and dumping her remains. Jay originally told investigators that in March of 2019 that his wife left their residence, which is located near the intersection of Golden Mesa Drive and Green Valley Trail Drive in Katy, but she took some of her belongings and never came back. During the investigation, he changed his story before finally confessing to killing her. Jay told investigators that on the 16th of February 2019, they got into an argument, which turned into a physical altercation, following an evening out together at a strip club. He said she hit him, so he strangled her on the bed. Jay said that he then contacted a friend to help get rid of the body, but the friend refused and told him to contact the police. But instead of reporting the murder, he contacted the authorities to file a missing persons report. He then lied to his friend and said that he informed the police of Mara's death and that they took Mara's body away. Jay then bought 100 pounds of charcoal and took a body to a shed in his backyard and cremated her body. He bagged up her ashes and put them in the trash bag on the nature strip for the garbage truck to collect. And when it failed to get collected, he took the ashes with him and threw them into a dumpster at work. After Jay's friend discovered that he hadn't reported Mara's murder to the authorities, he reported the matter to the police himself. Investigators arrested Jay in March of 2019, and he confessed to killing Mara. The authorities say that Mara's remains have never been found. Mara had two children, who are now being raised by family members.